now we have this training course tracking sheet. And what's going to happen is we basically are tracking the training courses based on the attendees of this training. So we have the name, we have the email, the specific training course that this person is enrolled in, training course provider status, training date that they're available from, due date, completed date, and other feedback dates that uh, other feedback columns that is relevant to this training. So let's say, please rate how you found the training. It We could rate from one to 10, how relevant the role was to this training, one to 10. Please provide further feedback on the session. And also let's say if there's any training that you wish that you took, you can put it in here. But that's not the interesting part of dynamic view. Now, when I go into the view of dynamic view that I mentioned before this, when I go into the launcher and I go to dynamic view and it takes me to my view, it says there's nothing to show. And what that means is that I am logged in to the Smartsheet demo account and I'm unable to see anything. That because That's because I'm not enrolled in any of those training courses. So I'm not supposed to see anything. However, in this simple sheet, without using dynamic view, I can see everything. Now, when I switch over to my own account, what I wanted to show is that this view, I'm logged in to Bernisha, my own personal account, I can see three three rows. But in the previous view, I could not see any because I was logged into a different person who's not assigned to any of these um, training sessions. And another cool part about dynamic view is I can really configure a workflow and I, I will show that to you in action. So for example, these two, the first and the third row, these two training sessions I've completed. The second one is only scheduled. My role is to basically update my progress as an attendee of these training sessions on when I completed the training session and other information like feedback regarding this training. All I'm going to do is click on the scheduled training session. I'm going to put in a date. So let's say, let's say it's today. And notice how all these fields are editable fields. I'm editing them as I go. Let's say 10, how relevant it was 10. Please provide further feedback. So um, let's say would appreciate if there were more hands on exercises. provide details of any further training that you may need. It could be any topic. So I'm saying here, I would appreciate if, if we can explore, let's say, data shadow. So what I'm going to do now, all these editable fields, I've completed the training, I've put in my final thoughts. I'm going to go in and save it. Now, once I saved it, okay, and I do a quick refresh, you'll see that the scheduled has switched to completed. And now when I click into that row, it is locked. So I'm unable to edit these rows now that I've already sent the information over. Okay, so what Smartsheet's dynamic view basically does, it, it it basically in, introduces this granular sharing down to the finest details and only pulls in individuals that is critical to your work at the moment that they are needed and only give them the information that they need to, you know, that they require to play their specific roles. And that's the beauty of dynamic view. And now I will show you on, and, and basically what happens is 
once that person enters their information through this dynamic view, it relates back to the sheet. So now if I, as an admin, I go into the sheet, I'll be able to see this same information being updated there. But the beauty of all this is that I am only given the information that I needed. I updated my own information. I don't have access to other people's information and other people's progress. But yet again, I basically was I basically was not shared to the the sheet, so I don't have access to the full sheet. So in other words, dynamic view really allows you to maintain your process confidential confidentiality by preventing users from accessing the full sheet, all without basically hindering the collaboration required to fully execute that work. So now if I move into my main screen and show you that sheet, you will see that it's being updated there as well. So basically for the first time, the sharing moves beyond basic permissions and you're really able to configure what dynamic view can do to for you. And shortly after showing you the sheet, we'll go into how dynamic view is being configured. So I'm going to do another attempt on stop sharing my screen and share the right screen again. Now, if you can see the row six, that was the row that we updated. And you can see that the information is relayed back into the sheet. And that is the beauty of dynamic view. And you would be surprised on how great and efficient is it is to build a dynamic view. And I'll show you how it's how this view is being built. So basically we have these four windows and what's going to happen is in the general window, you put in your view name, your description, where the sheet is coming from. How are we restricting this view? So it's going to be by email. It could be by course provider. It could be by anything. So it depends. It really depends on your use case. You can restrict this view by a sheet filter, let's say completed, scheduled, and so on. You can allow for new item sub, uh, submission. You can allow to export to, uh, to a CSV file. So that's all up to you. View display. So what are you displaying on that first view? So let me just go back here. This is the view display. When you click into each one and we get into the details of it, where in my other screen, I entered information regarding the feedback and so on, that's called the details view. This is called the view display. So the view display, you can put in what you'd like to put in as the, as the main first view. You can um, display attachments, you can display comments, that, that's really up to you. In the details panel, you basically put in the details. And the best part of, of this is that, yes, you may be able to put in the details, but how do you configure the logic behind it? So how did I configure basically um, making the, the certain fields, certain fields view only after the status has been changed to complete. So those are all things that basically you need. It's basically the advanced version of it. And definitely Achievement can help you build that. You just need to contact curious at achievement.com. But basically that is using logic behind dynamic view. So here when you drag, you basically you're able to drag the um, fields from your Smartsheet sheet. And you can basically put in the custom label. Do you want it to be a required field that someone has to enter an information for them to proceed to the next page? Do you want it to be read only or do you want to hide this section? You can put in a help text. You can basically even put in um, a default value. So just like that, we have that for every for every field and coupled with that, we can also have 
these um, logics that we can basically enhance the dynamic view to basically do what you want it to do. Next, oh, save that. Next is the sharing. So you have the owner, whoever you want it to be shared, shared users. Some of them have only access to the views. Some of them have only view access and so on. So that's how easy it is to set up a dynamic view, but how beneficial it is to set up one. So really the bottom line of um, dynamic view is that you're, it allows you to invite more people to participate in your process and also collaborate directly with you while also maintaining that control at a granular level. 